messages? Not since Wells Fargo ordered the space to pick up Lawton's baggage at Dry Wells. Lawton, Lawton, I Use wish. his real name. Count von Rington died in line of duty. Nevertheless, the fact remains, if Captain Clark finds those letters, which are probably in von Rington's baggage... Clark will expose us. That's one of the risks we take. Far more important, my dear. He'll learn that Prussia intends to buy Alaska with the gold that we have stolen. Fortunately, Captain Clark does not know that you have sent the Raiders to intercept the stage. Now what is wrong? Captain Clark and that Wells Fargo detective know our plans. Howdy, Captain. Thought you'd read at first. They'll be along soon enough. Give us the baggage marked for Lawton. Hold it. Here comes trouble. They can see us. Give us some other baggage. Good idea. If they think we've got what they want, they won't search the stage. If the writers leave you alone, don't give Lawton stuff to anybody but Kathy Haynes. Nobody, Captain. You better light out. Get up, get want to play, Steve. As long as they think there's a chance of getting that bag, we took off the stage. <laughs> Won't they be mad when they find out it ain't Lawton? The longer we hold them up here, the surer we are at the stage of getting to Laura Grandy with Lawton's real luggage. This ain't going to get us anywhere. Take a look up there. That rock's only hanging by a hair, and it's right behind them. Yeah, nothing's holding it but a little shale. Think we could knock it loose? Yeah, we can try. Let's use our rifles. Peace, son? Yeah, don't I look it? Hey, why drag that along? There's nothing in it we want. Yeah, but the Raiders don't know it. What's the idea? When the Raiders see me riding off of this, they'll follow me. Oh, no, you don't. We're getting out of here together. Look, Steve, the stagecoach should have delivered Lawton stuff to Kathy by now. It's more important you look at his papers than me. Now, listen, Idaho. Cover me, son. Start throwing lead. Hey, that Wells Fargo man's making a break for it. with Lawton's bag.
have a nice ride? Really had some fun for myself. What and stuff? Yeah, stage got through all right, but there are no papers. We don't know any more about Carl Lawton now than we did before. There must be something in that bag, and why would the Raiders be after it? Well, if there is, we haven't found it. That sure is tough. Oh, hey, look, Steve. Here's another one of Lawton's cards. Did you check on the Rackaby Company? Yeah, I telegraphed. They're in San Francisco, all right. But do they know Lawton? Yeah, so they just hired him. Here's something. A newspaper clipping. Advertising Rackaby's coffee? No, it's been cut from an editorial in some San Francisco paper. Read it. It is this editor's opinion that the ill fame of our San Francisco waterfront will continue as long as there are such places as Rackerby's Landing. <laughs> Somebody sure thinks there's more than coffee at Rackerby's Landing. This may be a lead at that. When there's only one trail, that's the one to follow. Where are you sending a message to this time? Washington. How did you find Mr. Morrell? You know, fit to be tied because we didn't get Lawton's luggage. Can you blame him very much? Why well, get so excited over a suitcase? Me and my men are hard to grab gold, not chase baggage. Mr. Morrell didn't want Steve Clark to get it. So he told me, but he didn't say anything about what was in it. And that's what I want to know. I hope you'll be told everything you need to know, Mr. Braddock. Very soon now. There's only one answer that counts, and that's how much gold I get. So you can tell that to Morrell. He wants to see you. Captain Clark is telegraphing Washington. Did he find papers in Von Rinkin's luggage? He couldn't have found much. He reports that he's going to San Francisco to investigate Rackaby. Rackaby's landing. That means Von Rinkin was too smart to carry secret records. Clark obviously hopes to stumble upon something. Well, we should do our best not to disappoint him. Hmm? And your message was received at the Treasury Department, Captain Clark. Washington just confirmed. Thanks, Dan. What are you going to do when you reach San Francisco, Steve? That's what I'd like to know. You can't just walk in and question Rackerby, even if Lawton did represent him and an editor don't like him. But Idaho, we know that these 1752 coins are some sort of a countersign for the secret organization we're after. That won't help you any, if Rackerby happens to be an honest man. Judging by the newspaper clipping, the chances are he isn't. I'm going to use this to try and find out. All right. Trust me, there's sure a lot of fuss. Just because one man's coming down here to look around. Depends on what Rackaby was told about the man by that messenger from Oro Grande. There ain't no man dangerous enough to take care of all the guards we got waiting around here for him. We'll find out quick enough. That's probably him now. here from Aura Grandy ahead of Captain Clark. You have made his death a certainty. Come in. He's coming now. Is the front door unlocked? That's what you ordered. Good. Leave by the back way. If you will step into this back room, which also has a door to the alley, you may watch the next act of our little play without being seen. 
You're too sure of yourself, Frankaby. You should not see Captain Clark alone. I cannot deny myself the pleasure. And I think you will enjoy what you're about to see. Mr. Rackerby. You are. But unless your business is important... I have a thousand pounds of coffee for sale. Well, that's important enough. If the price is right, this way. Coin. Of course, you've never seen another like it. Well, not exactly. This is similar, isn't it? Yes. Perhaps we have something in common, eh, Rackerby? It will be interesting to make sure. Z3. Six Y10, six E1, Z2. Here it is. Six Z3. Otto Murdoch. In person. Let me see. Murdoch's last assignment, as I remember it. was to kill you, Captain Murdoch. Murdoch got what you'll get, Rockaby, if you try anything. Hand me that list of your agents. You're unwise, Captain Clark. Murdoch had to go to you, but now you have to come to me. Give me that book. 